Hey guys, this is Energize, and welcome back to Cold Front. Um, so last time, what happened? I don't remember. Uh, let's see. I think we, uh, a lot of trippy stuff happened. Like, we found out some crazy stuff. Ugh, why is it so dark? I can't see anything. The lighter, where's the lighter? Desperately move around the room with your arms reached out. Okay, we, we, went, we went through this part. You remember this? Okay. So now we should go downstairs. Wait for you outside. Okay. Memory 7. Alright, so this is where we left off last time. Um, waiting for me downstairs. Can I go back in here? Oh, there's no point. Let's just go downstairs. Bloop. Well, there you are, mister. Mr. Demon. Uh oh. Oh no. If he was able to come down here. And seeing how I survived after falling down. There's a chance that monster is also still around. Down here's the stairs to the first floor. This bastard, he's... He's probably planning something to get rid of me again. Yeah, just like how he tried with, to with that hole earlier. I need to. Huh? Oh. Oh no, I need to strike him first. Why do I have to? Okay. Push Winnie down. Oh, this is a big decision, isn't it? Oh no. Uh, I guess the clock is ticking. No, I'm not going to push him down. Nope. No. Step out of it, Augustine. Are you okay? You're sweating bullets, and what's with the scary expression on your face? You keep talking to yourself and accusing me of something I never said. I called your name multiple times just now, and you didn't even answer. You can't go on like this. Augustine, I have something to ask you. When I fell down from the stairs last winter... Oh, here it comes. I saw you. I know you didn't push me. I know I fell because I accidentally tripped myself. I know that. But I knew you were at a distance where, if you wanted, you could have easily reached out and stopped me from falling. When I was lying on the floor about to pass out, I also heard footsteps of someone leaving the area. And I heard that some, someone else called the ambulance other than you. I, that's... But despite it all, I didn't feel resentful or enraged, I just felt... confused. I think that was the first time I started seriously reflecting on our relationship. All along, I thought we were best friends, but since then, I realized you might have thought of us differently. It felt like a wake-up call. Ever since then, I was paranoid about how you'd feel about me. I thought you hated me. I thought you didn't want to see me ever again. I was scared. I didn't know what to do or what to say, so I started distancing myself from you. But that didn't solve anything. It just made our relationship worse. What we need is... Closure? A conversation. An honest conversation. Nothing will change if we just shut ourselves from one another. I'm not mad. I'm not disappointed. I'm not going to blame you for anything that's happened. So just talk to me. Tell me everything. If you don't, I'll never know till the day I die. Augustine, tell me how you feel. Oh, the moment I heard the words tell you how me, tell me how you feel. I'd forgotten all about my suspicion, my hatred, my fear of Winnie. Oh no, nothing but all the feelings I have been bottling up for all these years were left in me. Which started to helplessly flood out into the most unsightly way possible. I, I, I envy you for succeeding and I'm scared of what will happen to me in the future because of it. I know I'm supposed to feel happy for you. I know I'm supposed to celebrate your success by your side. I know I'm being selfish. I know that I'm being overly emotional. I know that more than anyone. I know that I'm being pathetic. I know that. I know that. But I just can't help it. Whenever I see you, I can't help but think you stole everything from me. Whenever I start something, you suddenly start copying me and then take it away from me. It wasn't just once or twice, but every single time. Then you soon master at what I wanted to do, making you loved and recognized, covering me behind your massive shadow. Burying everything I've done so far in the ground, taking away everyone that I wanted to impress, having everyone's attention and fortune heading towards you. And now that you have 
adored by everyone. You must have felt embarrassed for having to call a nobody like me, your friend. No talent, no social life, no skills. Now all I have left is the fact that I am your friend. But you have so much more in life than me. You won't need me anymore. So I thought, you were getting rid of me. I was terrified. I was terrified of you. Is, is that really how you feel all this time? Augustine, I'll never leave you. There's nothing in this world that can replace you. You are my hero. I looked up to you ever since we first met. I was able to be the way I am now because you inspired me with how bright and friendly you were. I was able to feel at ease no matter where I went or what I did because I had a friend like you with me. I think that's why I kept following you around. Because I didn't want to leave your side. And now I realized there are still things not even a friend should do. There's a line that not even a friend should cross. I crossed that line way too many times until now. Huh. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I should have respected your line. I should have thought about how you'd feel. I should have put myself in your shoes. But I was too blinded by admiration back then that I couldn't see that you were my one and my only friend before my hero. I must have... It must have been so frustrating. It must have been so upsetting. You don't have to forgive me. I know apologizing now won't change the past. But I just want you to know this. You are the coolest and brightest person I have ever met in my whole life, Augustine. I was only able to do all the things I've accomplished so far because you encouraged me back then. Because you gave me hope. You worked hundreds, thousands, million times harder than me. And I remind myself every day how lucky I am to have met a friend like you. What do you mean you have nothing? You are someone who can take over the entire world if you wanted to. You're amazing like that. Thank you for trusting me and telling me the truth. Ah. Uh, now I get it. It wasn't Winty. <laughs> it wasn't Winnie that was hun hunting me. The real hunter was... Myself. Oh. Already deciding what's going to happen in the future. What other people will think of me in my head. Blaming others for all this misfortunes in my life. Not trying hard enough in the first place and justifying that by saying someone who's skilled than me or popular than me will come along and take all the glory anyway. It was all me. Even though Winnie stayed the same, I was too blinded by my own jealousy and insecurity that no matter what he said or did, I distorted the truth. Didn't even try to talk to him properly and decided that he was only out to ignore me, out to hurt me, interpreting him the way I feared and believed in the lies I told myself to justify hating him. I was at fault all along. Huh. H Herg. That's, that's not true. I'm not as great as you think I am. You've always been a good friend. You always were. I, I was a fool to ever have taken it the wrong way. I'm sorry, I never should have let you get hurt. You're way more important than my pride. What was I even thinking? How could I have been so childish? I was stupid. I'm ashamed. Hey, we can call it even for now since I did let you fall into a giant hole earlier. Is it really okay to brush this off that simply? Hee <laughs> hee. Augustine. Oh, We're friends, right? I don't think I deserve you. If you're okay with it, I'd love for you to be my friend. Then... Yeah, we are. I think I made the right decision, guys. I made the right decision. Are you okay? Breathe, Augie, breathe. It's been so long since I cried this... Much hair. <laughs> well, it's okay. Don't cry. Smile. Shh. I'll calm down now. Er, yeah, thanks. Glad to hear it. So, Augie, remember that we're already dead theory I told you? I've been doing some more thinking on that, and... You know how people say... A person sees their life flash before their eyes. When they're about to die, or... They're seriously injured. 
What if this is that? The situation we're in now is the flashback. Well, for us, it isn't us just watching the flash like a movie. We're actually experiencing it, reliving it even. That means we're about to die in real life. I did hear an ambulance sirens go off a few moments ago, but... Wait, then where are we now? Probably an important memory that we constantly look back to. The memory that impacted our lives the most. Oh, and another thing. Don't people usually see these flashbacks on their own? But look at us, we're sharing it. I think this is because the memories we're thinking of are the exact same. What were some memories you think that impacted your, you deeply in life? Meeting you and seeing you fall last winter. Mine too. Our first introduction and the first time the crack in our relationship was visibly shown. So the reason why it's suddenly winter now, why our clothes are suddenly changed, and why this place looks like your house, is because we're in a mixed memory of the winter when we first met. And the winter when I fell. The house is left the same way when my family first moved in. And our clothes are what we were wearing on the day I fell. You're in indoor wear since you were inside the school. You're in outdoor wear since you were leaving the building. Ah, this is hurting my head. So what you're saying is, we're currently in a coma and are in a critical condition, probably because of a car accident or something, and our consciousness are trapped in a mixed memory of the winter when we met and when you fell down the stairs? Why oh, you summarize that perfectly. Who cares about that? How did we get out of here alive? Mmm. Ah, I got it. This is a flashback of an important memory that we look back on often, right? Because of regret, because it deeply impacted our lives. If that's why we're having this flashback, if we get rid of our regret, get rid of the thing that's mentally hunting us, the thing that keeps making us look back to this memory, maybe we'll snap out of it to the present instead of the past. Back to reality. Since no regret means no looking back. By the thing that's hunting us, you mean, yeah, I think that monster represents our unhealthy relationship the past few years. It looks like two different animals were forcefully, mi forcefully mixed together. I felt like it was in tremendous pain and suffering. If we defeat that creature, I'm sure it'd mean that our relationship is restored. Our regrets will be gone because we got rid of what was making us suffer. We solved it. We can't escape the flashback. All right, let's do it then. I trust you. Okay. So no need to get cheerful over it. So how do we defeat it? All we have on us are fuel and the lighter. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Set it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh shit. Ah! Speak of the devil. Well, I really hope it isn't the devil. Yippee, how convenient for us. Alright, tell me when you're ready. Oh, okay, we're going. Uh, I'm ready. I could have saved. Then I turn on the lighter and chuck it. Yes, yeah, so the plastic out with fuel. I forgot to read that. Sorry. Yeah, I love when we finish each other's sentences. Let's go then to the first floor. We got this. We got this. So we're gonna splash with fuel and light it with the lighter. Eek! Th there it is. Where? Right there. There. I don't see it. Ah! What? It's looking right at us. Get the fuel. Do it. Wait. Looks kind of cute once you get used to it. Stop messing around and pour the damn fuel now. Oh. Now, Augie. You gotta do something? I... Got it. Oh, shit. Yeah, burn, baby. Oh. We did it. We did it. We really did it. Whoa, that was so cool just now, Augie. Now the way you threw that tank was way more cooler than we were both cool, huh? <laughs> now that we got rid of that monster, what's our next move? I like how they're hugging while the creature's burning and screaming on fire. Oh, yes, yes. Our next move about that. I, I didn't think this far ahead, actually. Oh, no. You what? 
Maybe if we let ourselves burn here too, we'll somehow wake back up in the real- You're crazy, what? That doesn't sound very comforting, you're gonna set yourself on fire? If I die, I'm going to kill you. Hehe. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, with the sirens. Ugh. Gah. Why is everything upside down? This is the car. Is that siren an ambulance, huh? Winnie. Where's Winnie? Winnie! Wow, so my theory was right. The car crash, coma trope. Isn't this cliche, huh? I'm glad it wasn't the version where we were already dead. Now that would have been troubling. How can you smile at a time like this? But you're smiling too. We had lost consciousness after the sudden crash and found ourselves waking up in an, the overthrown car. We were transferred to the hospital as soon as we were found. After our checkup, the results showed that despite the severity of the accident, Winnie only suffered minor injuries like small bruises. Never fails to surprise me, that guy. Compared to him, I fractured my left leg. I didn't feel upset though. It was only fair. That made us even. Winnie's move was pushed back after the accident. For almost the whole summer, he stayed by my side so that I could recover faster. The sudden blizzard, the icy field, the monster we faced. I'm still not sure if what we experienced was a dream, a hallucination, or indeed a flashback that Winnie talked about. But one thing's for sure. Because of what we went through, Winnie and I were finally able to have an honest conversation. For the first time ever since we met, we became best friends. Eventually, Winnie left. Though Winnie isn't by my side anymore. Oh. Thank you for being my friend, Winnie. That doesn't mean I'll be alone. <laughs> oh, this is... Moving. Oh. <laughs> wow. I think I'm crying right now. <laughs> that was good. That's the end. Oh, that was so good. I don't know why that was so moving, but it just was. <laughs> we did it, guys. Oh, that was amazing. That was a great game. Well, I think that's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short series. I know there's probably more if I choose the different ending, but you know what? We're going to leave it at that because I like that ending. So that was very moving. <laughs> it was like a movie. Um, very short movie, of course. But yeah, that was Cold Front. Um, if you want to play this game for yourself, you want to try to get the other ending, link is in the description down below. So give it a try, because this game, it was pretty good. Like, that was moving. That was nice. Uh, great story, great story. But yeah, um, if you guys want to see more games like this, I am going to be releasing another series on a different game. It's like a horror story game. Uh, we're going to be playing that next. I don't remember what it's called, but I think that's going to be next on the channel. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the short two-part series be sure to subscribe um because that uh it just hasn't I, I don't know it just hasn't been happening i would appreciate some subscribers i really would if there's if there's something you want me to do I gladly i'll do it leave a comment down below like some suggestions a game you want me to play a thing you want me to do if you want me to bring back the good old videos i used to do where i used to react to infomercials that kind of stuff um back earlier this year i did that i could do that again if you want me to whatever you guys want to see leave a comment down below and maybe i'll do it unless it's something inappropriate then of course i'm not going to do it come on but <laughs> yeah leave a comment down below and i might just do it but thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the short series on cold front and if you want to see more stuff like this leave a like subscribe make sure that bell is turned on if you want to get notified of future uploads i'm trying to upload more um it's about every other day not exactly maybe every two days so like a day and then two days off. like i try to upload as much as i can but in between work and stuff like that you know i i don't do this for a living right this 
this is just something I do as a hobby. Because I legitimately enjoy doing this. I never really talked about that. How much I really do enjoy doing this kind of stuff. I just enjoy being here and doing something to entertain you guys. Doing something to interact with the, like a community. I know we don't have much of a community. It's probably like 10 people. But it still means everything to me. Just to be able to know that maybe I'm, you know, putting a smile on someone's face. Maybe I'm uh, brightening up someone's day. It's kind of the reason why I love doing this kind of stuff. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. And, uh, yeah, I think that's enough uh, deep and meaningful conversation. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which will probably be tomorrow. Maybe, if I can get a recording in. Goodbye.